it's Sam. So I had some stuff to return from my Nordstrom haul, which you guys probably have already watched. I had those boots that wouldn't go up my leg. Um, Jay had a pair of shoes that he didn't care for. So I had a few things to return. Um, and so I figured I would just go ahead and go into our local store, which is not local. It was a two hour drive for us, but um, we decided to go return it and just kind of like make a day of it. And I wanted to see some other stuff that I wanted to get, like, get my hands on. Um, and luckily they did have the things that I had been eyeing in the store. So I figured I would just go ahead and share with you guys what I got this time around. I got a few more things. We did order a jacket for Jay. They had it in store and he touched it and it was amazing. It was a North Face jacket. And I'll link it just in the description box below because if your man is picky about materials, Jay is really weird about things being noisy. Like if a jacket is quite loud, he will not wear it. Because we don't have like insane winters here, I feel like we don't have to worry about having huge big like puffy coats that we're used to. So I wanted him to have like a jacket that he can just kind of throw on when it's kind of cold but not freezing if you know what I mean where it's just like cooler temperatures um, so we found one that he loved but they only had an extra large there and he's got quite big arms and it would not um, like it was tight around his arms so it was very uncomfortable for him but like the material was amazing so it's the North Face and again I don't know what it's called I'll link it down below but we ended up getting a double XL for him just so that it fits him better in the arms it fit everywhere else really well it was just his arms it was just it looked uncomfortable so Hopefully sizing up will be good. Um, but that's a really great coat if you want something that's really soft and like not loud, but just a perfect kind of cool weather and chilly, but like not super duper cold snow, then I think that would be really good. Um, and then these blankets I had been eyeing online and I, I really just wanted to touch them and kind of just like see the colors in person and really like feel how they are. And you guys, these are so amazing. If you don't get anything from the Nordstrom sale, you need to get these blankets. They're just by Nordstrom. So these were on sale for, I think, $28.90. I think they're normally $39.50, and I think they're on sale for like $28.90 or something like that. So this color, I'm trying to find the tag here. Um, and it was so funny because we went to the little cafe, which, holy moly, if you guys are in the Raleigh area and you go to that Nordstrom, the cafe inside of Nordstrom is so good. So if you are shopping in Nordstrom and you want some, it's not super cheap, but it's not super expensive, um, but it's really, really, really yummy. So I'd highly recommend that cafe and everyone that works there is really, really nice. Um, but anyway, when we went after we were shopping, the kids were hungry. We went in there, pigged out. It was just delightful. Um, and then, you know, when you get back in the car after you've been eating and you've eaten probably too much and then you get really cold, like I get really cold after I eat because my body's just like working hard to burn it all off. Um, and then we had these blankets. So we got three and each one of us, Jay was driving. So he's, he had the bad luck, but we were all like snuggled up in our blankets and it was amazing. Um, but anyway, these are just awesome blankets like you need to get them for the price you really cannot go wrong and this tag isn't on here for some reason so it's called the B the bliss plush throw i don't know what this color is called but i'm sure you'll be able to see it online i'll link it down below for you guys but it has these really nice tassels on both sides and we just ordered a new couch, a new sectional, because we currently don't have one. And so I got three, so I could have one peach on each corner and then this kind of like corally kind of whatever color this is, like in, this, in the middle corner. Um, and then I got these, so I got two of these ones. So these are like a really light color. This is the pink peony and it's just like a really soft kind of peachy pink. So I got two of that color and that's everything that's in that bag. But you guys, these are so soft. These would be great Christmas gifts because they really are such a soft, delightful material. They just are so cozy and soft and they don't snag on if you have dry hands or anything or like if you have dry feet, they're just amazing. And I love those little tassels. So I'm very excited about those. I got this shirt and I ended up um, returning the black I got I got two three three v-neck shirts um and they were by BP and I ended up returning the black one just because I have so many black shirts and I was like this is kind of silly like I really don't need that many black shirts I don't know I just felt like I would rather have more white shirts so I got this one instead and this is by Cal Cal is it Calston or Calson or something like that 
And this was on sale for I think like $11 or something. It has a little pocket here. I really like the neckline of this one a little bit better and I'll do a little try on. I only got a few things for myself. Um, but I'll show you guys like what it looks like on because it's really long so it's amazing to wear with leggings. So that's a really, like that's a must have as well. I feel like if you are someone who wears leggings a lot and you don't want to have to have your butt and um, front showing, then that's a really great shirt because it does come down quite long if you're short, of course. I mean, I don't know how long it would be if you are tall, but if you're short, then you're good. And then I wanted to get a couple of things for the kids, but um, Lily is really picky, so I just tend to not to try. I don't, I don't like buying stuff online for her anymore because I have been burned in the past and I order all this really cute stuff and then she doesn't like any of the stuff I order and then I'm like cool I'm like stuck with all these brand new clothes so I figured I would just take her in and so she could actually like try stuff on herself so she chose this little sweater and it's so fleecy soft in the inside and then the hood has little um, ears which is really cute but it's like kind of like polka dots almost like a polka dot frill dress at the bottom so it kind of looks like she's wearing a dress so she really was obsessed with that one and then she also picked out this one, which I really don't like stripes. <laughs> I'm like, I don't like stripes at all, but she loves it. And it is a really soft material. Um, so yeah, she, she picked this out and she went running around the store trying it on, just absolutely in love with it. So um, whatever the child wants, eh? It's really, I mean, it is cute. It's soft. It's just, I don't really care for stripes and it's just like my own personal thing, but it has like a little hood and it is super silky and again it's kind of like that almost like a dress dress sweater um and then for phoenix i got this really cute little just basic i really liked the color it's kind of like that i don't know what the it's called green beetle but it's more like um i guess it's like a is it a hunter green i'm not sure um this was on sale for nine dollars and ninety cents normally it is 17 sorry i forgot to tell you the prices of these sweaters these were a little bit more this was $22.90, and this brand is called Tucker and Tate. It's a really cute brand. They had this denim jacket that I wanted her to get. It was like a denim jacket, and I'll link it for you guys. And it had a sweater, like pink sweater sleeves, which I was like, oh, she's totally gonna want this because it's cozy on the sleeves. Um, and then it had a rainbow on the back, and it had a hood. It was so adorable, and I like tried to convince her to like it, but she just didn't like it, <laughs> so she didn't get it. But it was really cute. So if your child isn't as picky as mine, then you should definitely get that jacket because it was so cute on her. She had this little cute dress that she was wearing too. It was oh, it was so adorable. Um, and then this was twenty two ninety originally thirty five. So pretty good sale on the kids sweaters. And then I got this little jacket for Phoenix because again, he has a lot of like warmer jackets that are like good for really cold weather, but I wanted him to have something that was just kind of like, it's cozy, but it's not like insanely hot. Um, so I got this and this was a really good price. I feel like for something like this, this was on sale for $33.90, originally $55 but it's just like this really nice Sherpa jacket and I know he'll get so much use out of this because it's super cozy. It's easy to just throw on and zip up. It has that little kind of higher neck or you can just, you know, wear it open like that. And then it has that kind of like slippery material that's navy blue. Um, it does have zipper pockets, which is fun. And then that is what the back looks like. And it's just kind of like this really pretty kind of creamy color. So he tried this on and he said it was really nice. Um, but I just think that this is gonna be something he'll be able to wear a lot and then this i only got myself two things oh, well the blankets that's technically for family um there wasn't a whole lot of stuff for uh women in that store that i liked um there was a t-shirt but the only one they had in my size had a stain on it which was a bummer i'll link the t-shirt because it was really cute and then i tried on those cardigans that everyone is obsessed with the barefoot dreams but they made me well first of all they didn't have my size so there was either an extra small or large and the extra small was obviously too small in my arms um, and then the large was just too big but they, they that material that they have I think it's great for kind of slender people but if you have a little bit of meat on your arms or maybe you're just shorter and you're like you know a little curvy that material can tend because it is so soft and fluffy and delightful it really tends to like make you look like 10 pounds heavier so I kept trying all of the different colors on and I was like oh, I just look really big like and I've gained a little bit of weight since this move because we've just been eating terribly and I haven't been on a routine of like exercising very well I just started again um, but like we haven't been eating very good and for me that's where I gain weight is if I'm not like on top of my diet then it just 
it just wants to pile on good old 30s for you so you know I'm already feeling bloated and then I go and try on these fluffy like extra material sweaters and I just felt like oh my god I look so, I look so wide and just big so I ended up not getting them and they were also quite expensive still after the sale like they're still I think 80 something dollars and I feel like for something that I would only wear I mean they are cozy don't get me wrong they're unbelievably soft they're super duper cozy like if you do want to just wear them around the house if you are someone who you have a little bit of weight on you and you don't want to necessarily wear them outside because you feel like they do make you look heavier and some people just don't care and that's totally cool too like just you do what you feel comfortable in and I think that's the most important thing is doing what makes you feel comfortable I don't I don't want to look heavier and shorter than I am so I just didn't I chose not to get it but I can see why people get it because it is the softest cardigan to just wear around like in the house and be cozy but then I was like I can't really justify spending that much money on a cardigan when I could just I can stick a hoodie on that I already have and be cozy in that too so it was kind of one of those things if it was gonna make me look good I would have spent the money because I can wear it out of the house but for me, I know I would only wear it in the house. And for me, I just, I ended up getting a shirt for me that I could wear outside. Um, so this, I actually had my eye on online and it sold out. So I found one in store. This is a size medium. This one fits really great. It's the Free People, um, I don't know what it's called, but it basically is that really long, flowy, just delightful V-neck top with really long sleeves. And then it has this like little bit here Oh, the sleeves are just fabulous, but the material is really nice and soft and cozy. Um, it does come down really long in the back, so I got it to wear with leggings. The only problem is if you are someone who is a little top heavy, if you have, you know, a bigger bust, and I don't have the best posture, I blame it on number one, breastfeeding, when you're like hunched over your baby for hours and hours and years at a time. Um, also, I work on the computer. So I'm hunched over on a computer all day long. And then I also have a big chest. So there's just like three things that went against me in my life. So my posture is just not good. Um, and so when you have a bad posture and a heavy upper body and then a butt, it like, it does this terrible thing in the back where it really does make you look like just a tent. It is not cute. So it looks great from the front. It looks great from the back. But from the side, you look so massive. Like it's just huge. All of this weird extra material. Um, so I would recommend if you do want to wear it out and you are someone like me who is short, you maybe have a little bit of a hunchback. <laughs> the joys of life. Um, you have a bigger chest. You have a booty. If you're kind of shaped like me, then you might want to tie something around your waist. So I put it on with a denim jacket and then it looked really cute because it showed that I actually do have like a shape versus just being like this massive backed person um but i think if you're just around the house and you just want to be comfortable i'm like i can still wear it in my videos because it looks really cute from the front and then if i just want to like wear a little jacket over in the fall time as long as i have something to hide the fact that it like has no shape in the back it's really really cute and the material is really nice so i can still wear it out i just have to be a little creative on what i do what I pair with it to make it so that the back doesn't look weird and I'll try it on so you guys can see because it's just very strange like I went out of the fitting room to show Jay and I was like so I walked to him and he's like wow babe that's really cute like that looks really good on you and then I turned to the side and I was like but look at this and he's like oh wow yeah that's bad so like even he noticed because I and he's very honest like I always tell him like please be honest like don't make me look like a fool walking around so he always tells me like what he knows exactly what I don't like about clothes and what what I'm looking for and like how to accentuate my body type so he knows what like what my things are that I don't like and so he was like yeah that's not good unless but then when I tied around my jacket then it was really cute so I think you just have to be a little creative if you have a body type similar to me if you're tall if you have a smaller chest if you have fabulous posture if you're just like slender in general I think it's probably gonna lay on you really well and that is something that I find a lot with free people is that they are catered more towards the tall slender people of the world which is a bummer because I love their style I love their design I I love their pieces but I've just found that a lot of the time if you have a bigger bust and you're shorter and curvier it's just really hard to find pieces that look really cute on you um, without having to do a little work to like add pieces along to kind of make them fit your body and that's just I think a struggle in general for short curvy girls um, 
because of course all of the models are tall and slender so everything's gonna look great being aware of like what looks good on your body shape and like thinking to yourself is there something in my closet that I can make this work so that's everything I got I thought I got more but I guess not I oh I guess because I did the order with the jacket but we had to order that in store because they didn't have his size so that's everything I have to show you today. Just a few more things. Not the most exciting Nordstrom haul. All of the exciting pieces that I got sold out like so fast and they were canceled off my order. There was a lot of stuff that got canceled that was kind of like a little bit more exciting, but I still feel like you can never go wrong with basics with the Nordstrom sale. You don't wanna go crazy and get like ridiculously insane with what you buy and buy all this stuff that you don't actually think you're ever gonna wear just because it's on sale that doesn't really make sense so you should always go with basics things that you know that are your typical style that you know you can mix and match that you can wear over and over again and then like for this i mean who doesn't love a blanket i'm like blankets and pillows for me are just a staple in home decor and i am so excited to have these because they're so cozy and our new couch is coming on Thursday, which I'm so excited to show you guys because it's like my dream couch. Cannot wait to watch the Bachelor finale with my snazzy blanket on my snazzy couch and just enjoy life. So, oh, but we we actually need to set up our TV too. <laughs> there's so much to do in this house. But um, yeah, so there's my haul. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I will link everything down below for you guys. So if there's something that you feel like you need to add, I think this sale ends August 4th so you still have time to shop and I'll get this up hopefully today so that you guys have plenty of time to add these to your list if you want them um, but like I always say with Nordstrom be quick because they sell out so darn fast if there's something that you've been eyeing just do it because you can always get it and then if you don't like it you can return it I'll try these on for you guys so that you can see this shirt on because this is amazing I love it this is the shirt that I was telling you about I don't know if it's Kelston or Kelson I'll link it um, but do you see how long it comes so it's great if you're just wearing yoga pants because it comes down nice and long it is flowy I think I got a size large because that was all they had but I do like this little pocket and I also love how long the sleeves are because they hit you at a really good spot if you are self-conscious about your arms or anything like that they they don't they're not not too short which is something that I always look for um, the the rounded kind of, it's almost like a rounded v-neck if that makes sense because it's not completely round but it's not completely V so it's kind of just like a U I suppose um, but I just like how it just kind of falls it's flowy it's lightweight it's kind of got that like you know it looks kind of thin and see-through but it's not too see-through um, sometimes that can happen with those BP shirts where they do look a little bit like whoa it's like so thin that you can see everything underneath i mean you can see that i have like a light pink sports bra on but it's not like to the point where it's completely see-through so i would probably go with this shirt over the bp ones that i got in the second haul because i think these are just a little bit more flattering um and i think i'll get more use out of them i actually wish i would have picked up a couple more it doesn't tent out too much from the side which is nice but then look how long it is. Like it's covering my whole bum, which is fabulous. There you go, there's the back. It's super long, which is great. And it's so soft, it's like great material. And this is that Free People shirt. So you can see why Jay liked it. I mean, hello, Booby Central. Um, but do you see how long the sleeves come down? So it's really cozy and it just like feels just like, oh, comfortable. And it comes down so long to where it's like, I mean, it's almost a dress on me because I am so short, but it, it's really nice. I suppose it's like a tunic, isn't it? Um, so it's a little shorter in the front and then it comes down a little bit longer on the sides here. So it's great to wear with leggings in the fall with some cute tall boots. I think that would be adorable. Um, and then it's got those three little buttons right there, which is really cute. But see how it like, it looks really cute from the front. So that is the back, which again is really cute. Like you look at it, imagine like a cute hat, some tall boots. That's adorable, but wait till you see what a tent I look like from the side. Okay, so I've literally just gained like, what, 20 pounds <laughs> with this shirt because of the back. Like, what is it doing? It literally makes it look like I have no butt, like I have this massive back, and like my boobs look ginormous. I mean, it just is so tent-like. Um, so yeah, that is not a good look from the side. Okay, so this is one of my favorite long jackets. And if I just had black jeans on or like even blue jeans, blue flares, see how much cuter it looks like once it's kind of covered up with a jacket that actually like flatters your shape because now you can see that I actually do have a back that goes in and that's not even tied properly, but see how that, and then when, when you tie it up, 
then it automatically gives you more shape. So you just have to be cautious with this shirt of like what you're wearing with it if you are someone who is shaped like me. I actually think I would wear it with this jacket because it's really cute and they match and I just put some black jeans on. Maybe some black flares, some heels, make me look a little taller, a little more slender and I'd be good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and go now. Thank you guys, I love you so very much. If you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below, what was your favorite piece? And subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you very soon.